I quit Windows from Linux, and let me tell you, it's been a roller coaster. From the highs of customization and performance to the lows of troubleshooting and driver issues, my journey into Linux has been anything but boring. So was switching to Linux a huge mistake? Let's dive into my experience and find out. It all started with Windows 11. I was bored, annoyed, my system felt slow, bloated, and just uninspiring. I've always had this itch to try a new operating system, and Linux has been calling my name for years. So I decided to take the plunge, but let's just say my first attempt didn't really go as planned. I started by dual booting Arch Linux with Hyperland, a tiling window manager. I'd heard about this thing called Rising. It's where you customize your system to look and feel exactly how you want. And as someone who loves customization, I was sold. But here's the thing, I had no idea what I was doing. So after flashing the USB and starting the install, I was completely lost. I spent hours researching, trying to figure out how to even get a functional desktop. Spoiler alert. I failed horrendously. I was so frustrated, I just decided to go back to Windows and I deleted the Linux partition. Now I was determined not to give up. I did some more research and landed on Linux Mint. This time I went all in, no dual booting, no safety net, I just wiped my entire hard drive and fully committed to Linux. And honestly, it felt liberating. But it wasn't all smooth sailing. Right off the bat I ran into issues. My monitors weren't working properly because my USB to HDMI adapter just didn't have Linux drivers. Then my audio drivers also just disappeared. When I tried reinstalling them, it just didn't download. So I decided to flash my USB with Windows and went ahead to see if the problem is on there also. And when I booted into Windows, my audio drivers still wouldn't reinstall. And every time when I tried downloading them, I would just blue screen. I was dumbfounded. I was confused. And I didn't know what to do. And to make the matters worse, my boot order was just completely messed up. No matter why I did, it would boot into Windows instead of Linux. At this point, I was so frustrated. Was I just too pea brained for Linux? Being fed up with my driver issues, I just decided to start fresh. I flashed into USB stick with Pop OS and just wiped both my drives and installed it. And guess what? My audio drivers started working again. I was relieved until I realized my Wi Fi drivers were now missing. My Ethernet cable was always downstairs, so I had to lug my PC and monitor down there. I connected to the internet and finally got my Wi Fi drivers installed. Installed. With the major issues out of the way, I finally got to do what I've been looking forward to, customizing my system. I installed some theme packs, changed my icons, and even found GitHub repo with an insane collection of wallpapers. I downloaded my essentials, Jellyfin for streaming music, Vestop for Discord, and Steam for gaming, and Vivaldi as my browser. And of course, DaVinci Resolve for video editing, since Adobe apps are just not supported on Linux. Now, here comes the moment of truth. I love playing games, and I was a bit worried going to Linux, but I was pleasantly surprised. Games that were supported on Linux or ProtonDB ran smoothly, sometimes even better than they did on Windows. And the best part, Linux used so much less system resources overall. I mean, I just finally felt like I had full control over my system, and it was kind of empowering. Now, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, Linux isn't perfect. There is a learning curve, and troubleshooting can be frustrating. But here's the thing, every problem I've solved has taught me something new and force me to understand my system better and honestly I think that's a great skill to have. So was switching to Linux a mistake? For me, no. Despite the challenges, I've fallen in love with the freedom, customization, and performance Linux offers. Now it's not for everyone, but if you're willing to put in the time to learn, it's incredibly rewarding. What about you? Have you tried Linux or are you thinking about making the switch? Let me know in the comments and I'd love to hear your thoughts. Don't forget a new video every Friday.